the chief arguments you'll hear from people opposing this is one, there's no voter fraud in the United States. The only thing voter ID is good for is impersonation fraud. That never happens, so it's not needed. And second, um, there are just huge numbers of people in the United States who don't have photo ID and they won't be able to vote. Now, in fact, uh, I saw that uh, Governor Perdue, I think, uh, when she vetoed uh, North Carolina's law, she said the law would, quote, unnecessarily and unfairly dis disenfranchise many eligible and legitimate voters. Now, there's one big problem with that claim. That is absolutely false. Okay? And the reason we know it is false is it's been disproven in the courtroom and it's been disproven in the polling place. And let me tell you um, a little bit about that. But let me also say, uh, look, the Supreme Court actually already looked at this issue. You know, Indiana passed several years ago one of the strictest photo ID laws in the country. In fact, I think Indiana, uh, the Supreme Court said it was the strictest. The U.S. Supreme Court upheld that law. And contrary to what most people might think, it was not a 5-4 decision by the conservative majority of the Supreme Court. In fact, it was a, to the great surprise of liberals, it was a 6-3 decision. And the majority opinion was written by none other, none other than Justice John Paul Stevens, who, as you know, is a stalwart liberal on the court. Now, the reason that he may have been the one who helped write that opinion was because the ACLU, the League of Women Voters, and others were there saying, look, there's no such thing as voter fraud in the United States. This is not needed. Well, before Justice John Paul Stevens became Justice John Paul Stevens, he was, of course, a practicing lawyer. Where did he practice law? In Chicago. <laughs> so the idea that there's no voter fraud kind of fell on deaf, deaf ears with him. <laughs>